they are here mm. and they are here mm. hitting the car particularly the glass panes mm. with full force mm. if we had kept sitting inside mm. most possibly they would have broken the pane and we would have been injured both me and adc but uh, do you, you how do they get to know that you're leaving at that time you're going to the airport you can understand from the fact audio audio check audio check okay. i'm joined by the kerala governor uh, mr arif mohammed so thank you for speaking with us what exactly happened yesterday were you really physically attacked yesterday while you're on the way no, to the airport akbar this is a kerala newspaper yes this is my car where are they standing around you not around, around you in front of the car yes they are standing in front you expect me to run over them and they are not just here mm. they are here mm. and they are here mm. hitting the car particularly the glass panes mm. with full force mm. if we had kept sitting inside mm. most possibly they would have broken the pane and we would have been injured both me and adc but uh, do you, you how do they get to know that you're leaving at that time you're going to the airport you can understand from the fact that day before yesterday mm. twice mm. they staged this black flag yes. thing and they tried to stop my car twice mm. same i'm going to attend a conference of the young indians mm. that is the youth wing of the confederation of indian industries mm. outside the hotel hmm. about 100 meters before the hotel hmm. they try to stop my car they are allowed to come near my car how how is that possible you have z plus this car? this you should ask the police because chief minister is the home minister therefore he is directing all these operations i am going to tell you something more stunning hmm. now once it has happened hmm. maybe police was not careful maybe they were not Mm, they did they, they were not able to stop them but can you believe that when i am returning back hmm. at the same spot they again hmm. stop the car so clearly your schedule is being leaked by some not schedule leaked chief minister before this thing happened 3 days before he said that governor is going to face this he already predicted this. he he not predicted he announced hmm. because he is directing the whole show so he announced he said governor is provoking the students now it is not only the cpm which has a student wing there are so many student organizations nobody has protested anything what they have got to do if i have to nominate hmm. two headmasters two school teachers two persons from industry and commerce to the senate of the university what the students have got to do with it hmm. but chief minister says that his nominees should be nominated hmm. and then he is using the students as a fodder but the allegation by the students is that you are getting the which RSS students the, the, this is who are they who are they hmm. what is their locus because they belong to the student wing of uh, cpm hmm. they are students i doubt if they are students they are professional criminals who have been recruited by the chief minister to create scenes against those whom he does not like but what is your answer to the allegation that you are nominating rfa rss affiliate i will nominate without taking into consideration to which organization one belongs i will take the merit into consideration and this thing will not come in the way that person belongs to which organization one last question this is a threat to rss you. is not a banned organization is it a banned organization yeah. then why are you asking this question uh, okay uh, is, the, is it is it something is, negative no no this is an allegation by the this sfi is a, allegation by whom criminals the thugs one last question this is a threat to you so going forward will you be making no, a formal no, i have already no 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 i have already said in the morning that yesterday th that was two incidents day before yesterday oh, yes, yes. yesterday there were three incidents hmm. 
and when I said I am going to tell you more stunning thing, at three or four points, because after I got down, hmm. then further ahead, they did not dare come near the car. Hmm. They were brought in police vehicles. And this, when the so-called arrest was made, hmm. they were not taken into the bus. Same vehicles which had brought them there hmm. to protest, same vehicle were used to take them back to the police station. These are big charges, sir. Will you be complaining, making a formal complaint? I am not going to complain at all. What I have said is, 16th, I am reaching cozy code. Yes. If somebody from a distance shows black, as far as the governor, president, honorable president of India is concerned, hmm. and governor is concerned, you cannot try to overawe them. Hmm. There is a provision in IPC, section 124. Hmm. These are the only two, we are a democracy. Everybody has the right to show black flag in anything. Hmm. But these two offices, they cannot be, you cannot try to bring pressure on them. That is punishable with seven years rigorous imprisonment. So what will you do now? I will do that so far. It was only after four incidents hmm. that I got down of my car. But 16th, I'm reaching Cozy Court, and I plan to go on an extensive tour of Kerala. Hmm. And anywhere they try to do these things, I will get down of the car. And I will ask them, don't hit my car, hit me. If you have guts, come close to me and hit me. This is what I did yesterday. I told them, come, hit me. You are hitting the car. Why you are hitting the car? government property hmm. and this conspiracy has been hashed by chief minister hmm. he is in the habit he comes from kannur yes. where so many political murders have taken place everybody knows about it hmm. he thinks you know he, what his finance minister had said only about six months back his finance minister said that how somebody born in UP can understand the education system of Kerala. Now, is it a threat to the unity and integrity of the country or not? He criticizes me. It's okay. But he is not doing that. He is saying how somebody born in UP can understand the education system of Kerala. They are fanning the fire of separatism they are trying to fan the fires of regionalism and they are their actions are such which are which are inimical i'm not going to use very strong word inimical to the unity and integrity of the country and it should i want to make it clear to them Yes, Kerala has a communist-led government. It is not a communist party government. It's a communist party-led government mm. of LDF. There are so many other parties. Party, yes. But Kerala is not a communist state. It is not a tot totalitarian, authoritarian state. Law shall prevail in India, whichever party may be in power. Mm. But the law, the constitution of the country shall prevail. Right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.